Hey everyone, what's up? This is video 4.4 I think four of this section of getting our stuff set settled. Now, here's the backstory. Uh, video 4.1, 2, and 3 were recorded like three months ago, and it's this, this weird. Anyway, um, so, so I was getting ready for VidCon this weekend. I'm gonna be at VidCon. When you're watching this, I'm at VidCon. And I was loading uh, my uh, GitHub repo onto a laptop that I borrowed from work so that I could work on it there and, uh, and uh, you know, maybe do some editing or recording when I'm gone into Anaheim this weekend, yada, yada, yada. It didn't work. I could, like the Jekyll was fine, the Jade was fine, but the SAS was not compiling. I thought, okay, why? And I went through a few things and, um, and uh, I could tell you the long story, but the short story, and, and Oliver P, actually, in the comments for video uh, 4.1, I think, um, when, we're talking about, when we're talking about Gulp, he pointed this out, that because I did that video so long ago, it was actually out of date with Shaky Shane's recently updated version. Shaky Shane, okay, let me just redo the comment from Oliver P. Thank you, Oliver. Oliver says, for me, the node modules are not up to date in the GitHub repo from Shaky Shane. Maybe we have to update the package.json file to the following for using the latest dependencies. And then he wrote this, which I'm just going to grab and um, go over to my text editor and open package.json. And he's right. Look at my dependencies. My gulp sass is 0 0.7. What am I thinking? So I'm updating to two and three, okay. And now, uh, after I did this, I went the long way around it. He's figured it out for me. Um, after I did this, my, uh, my, what's it called? My repo is working now. My SAS is compiling. It was so frustrating. It took me like two hours to figure out what was going on. But, uh, um, but Oliver P figures out that out right for us. So make sure you guys do that. And you know, and if this, if this video, you're seeing this like a year later or two months later or six months later, just go and like find out what the most recent gulp SAS is and just check your dependencies. Just check your dependencies, bro, you know, uh, and make sure they're all up to date and working fine. You probably have a problem if they're not. The second thing is, uh, this is number two here. I get a lot of people saying, hey, where the heck is the PSD? So <laughs> I didn't include it in the, um, in the repo because I was trying to cut down on file size, but it, it should be there. So right now you can watch me. I'm taking this PSD and putting it in the repo. And the next time I sync it to GitHub, it will be there for you guys. And the last thing is I was looking at my work on my phone and I realized, hey, my font isn't working. The font's not working. So um, I went to, and I was looking at how I do, let's, let's, look, at, let's look at how I do uh, fonts, uh, fonts. Okay, so I did this right here where it's like, I was trying to be too smart for Google and just grabbing their font, but, but Google is actually too smart for me, and what they do is they serve up a different style sheet depending on the browser that you're, you're using. So if I'm using like, like Firefox or Safari, it's gonna use a different um, font family uh, source for, um, like it'll use like a WAF or a TrueType or a o OTF or whatever, depending on that. So instead of doing all this, I'm just gonna bam. I'm just gonna go. Uh, where's a browser? I'm just gonna go to Google uh, Fonts Fire Sands. Yup, yup. I have really slow internet when I record these things because I'm in the garage. It's lonely. I've been here for like five hours recording. <laughs> Five, about four hours recording. Okay, so here we are. We've got this. This is the font we want. At the bottom, there's a link to open Fire Sans in Google Fonts. The weirdest usability thing I've ever seen, but here we go. Um, okay, I want normal and italic. And I'm just going to grab this import here. Just I'm just going to finally do what they tell me to do and put it in there. Now, uh, now I'm going to ask Google to give me the correct uh, uh, font file every time, depending on the browser that's looking at it. And 
that way, uh, you know, my mobile phone will have the right font, and and your Mozilla browser will have the right font, and and her Safari and his uh, Google Chrome and the baby that has the baby browser <laughs> and your grandma's browser will all work with the right font. So thanks, Google. Sorry, I tried to get too smart. Um, and I think that's. Let me check my notes. Let's see dependencies. Okay. That's all I wanted to say. So that's it for video 4.4. I'm having such a happy and fun time. And um, you guys don't know it, but I'm like on like video eight right now. And it's looking so good and so fun. Okay, so that's it for this really quick video. Uh, take care, I love your stupid face.